Okay, this first presentation in menu making deals with the influence on the menu. The first thing you need to consider are your target customers. These are the customers that are most likely going to be coming to your restaurant. They, so what you need to do is look at the needs and lifestyles. If you're going to open up a coffee shop near a train station, you need to think that these target customers are going to be coming in, they're going to be in a hurry. So everything you have needs to be prepared very quickly. Um, price. Your price needs to be consistent with the type of restaurant you're running. And it also needs to be consistent with the socioeconomic status of your area. So you need to kind of look at that. And if you think about like Lake Forest area where the average income is very, very high, the price there can be higher where that price would not work at Leiden it wouldn't work in certain towns or certain areas of Chicago in fact it, would, it wouldn't work in many places in the state of Illinois so you need to look at the socioeconomic status of your customers as well as the type of restaurant you're trying to open what type of food are you serving now if you're opening a French restaurant nobody wants to go there and get a hamburger so you need to keep your food consistent with the restaurant theme and menu what equipment is available and the skill of your workers you have to have the equipment in order to make the food properly so you don't want to start doing shortcuts on your food prep because you don't have the right equipment change your menu to accommodate your equipment and same with the skill of your workers if you hire all workers right out of college they don't have they don't have their feet wet they don't have a lot of experience yet they might have a lot of new ideas but they don't have all the work experience yet so your menu is going to have to reflect that maybe some of the items need to be a little simpler till they get more experience now the advantage of hiring workers right out of college is they make less money but again then your menu is going to have to be adjusted to reflect that Geography and culture. If you're opening your restaurant, let's say in San Francisco, you can have a lot of seafood where in the Midwest, seafood is very, very expensive because it has to be flown in. You need to look at your culture. You know, what is the culture of the area that you are trying to start your restaurant? Different countries have different cultures, even in the South, Southern. United States, if you look at Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, very laid back, very relaxed. And then if you compare that to Chicago, it's night and day. So a different type of menu, a different type of service. And eating trends. Right now the trend is toward healthy. Um, even if you look at your fast food restaurants, they're offering healthy options. They are not supersizing anymore. So a lot of trends are toward healthier eating and giving customers a healthy option maybe over french fries. You're going to do a very quick activity here. Each table will evaluate a restaurant based on the seven criteria on the previous slide. And I've written questions for you, so you don't need to um, panic there. Uh, your teacher is going to share a spreadsheet with you, and you're going to enter everything into that spreadsheet and then be sh ready to share it with class. With class. Now, table one is going to do Javachino, our coffee bar. Table two, McDonald's. Table three, you're going to look at Catch 35. It's a restaurant in downtown Chicago, and there's their website. Table four is going to do Chick-fil-A, five Olive Garden, and six Starbucks. And here are nine questions, and all of those um, correspond to the seven categories. If you have any questions, be sure to ask your teacher for help, and go ahead and get started.